Hi, it's Lynn Langett. This is part two of my screencast comparing uh, MongoDB MapReduce to SQL Server Group By. So you need to watch part one first. We can see how the problem was defined and shown in SQL. The example here on MongoView has MySQL, but I ran it in SQL Server. And in a nutshell, we're trying to find what are the closest cities in each country except the U.S. from a table with 3,700 records. And in SQL Server, it took us between um, like three or uh, five seconds unoptimized and three seconds um, when I added the uh, suggested indexes by the query optimizer. So now let's take a look at this in uh, Mongo. So we're using Mongo view here and what I've done is I've imported the, um, the city information. Um, uh, I brought that in. Actually what I did is I put it in SQL Server and then I used a cool functionality inside of Mongo view, which is you have to. This is for the licensed version. You have to pay thirty-five bucks. I imported the table from SQL Server. Just a quick, really, really fast way for testing. So of course, this is JSON data, and this is what it looks like natively. So if we want to get this same functionality in Mongo, we're going to use a MapReduce. So uh, for the purposes of time, I've set this up already, so we can just go through it. And I, I took the example. There was one typo in the example, and it's in the notes on the page. But I'll just call it out right here. So. The way that this uh, works is uh, there's, you bring up this little uh, MapReduce thing here uh, on the collection. So once you're uh, on the particular collection of interest, you just click on this and go to the collection and then say MapReduce and that gives you the template. And then uh, there's uh, four parts to it. There's Map, Reduce, Finalize, and Input and Output. And I, I put the um, notes inside of here so you guys could see it too. So the map basically is going to group or divide data into sets based on a desired value called a key, okay? And it uses this emit function. So in this case, we want to retrieve out country ID um, and the city and the lat long because we're gonna wanna be calculating on that to find the nearest neighbors. So um, notice it's, it doesn't take any arguments, it doesn't return anything, but this emit is the key because this is uh, what holds the result set that is then passed to the reducer. So then when you go to the reduce section, as it says here, the reduce is going to take up the key, in our case the country ID, and then pick up all the values which are JSON objects, um, which are, you know, we defined up here as the uh, city, lat, and long. By the way, the example says use word city, but the note says name, and you have to change it to name. Um, so anyway, uh, notice also here this is data that's coming out, and then this is um, data, okay. So you get the values, and then that are created from the map and then process them one by one using the, your logic inside of here. And then reduce can be called multiple times on a single key. This is one of the key differences. You can have um, a multiple execution. They have some good diagrams on that website, so you should take a look at that when you're learning too. And then um, uh, what we're doing is we're then finalizing to do our um, calculation. So uh, remember we want to find the nearest neighbor. So if we scroll down and we can see uh, for the values in the reduced data, then here's the calculation that we saw earlier in SQL where we do this calculation of where's the nearest neighbor. And then uh, we just uh, uh, send the results to the output and then that um, is filtered. And this is how you say not equals in the Mongo query language uh, 254, which is we don't want um, uh, cities in the US. And then we can just see this in the console or we can save it out to a, um, a collection of result set as well. So when we go ahead and we run this, it's going to be interesting, and I'll actually pause this, and then we'll come back in a second. So I want to point out that this took 11 seconds, um, which was actually uh, uh, slower than in, in a SQL Server. So one of the interesting things about using NoSQL solutions is you have to uh, you know, still have some aspect of setting them up physically. Um, this is my instance of Mongo. It has no shards or rep, uh, replicas or anything. It's just a single instance. So because of the um, looping behavior of this process, it actually was uh, slower. So kind of, kind of interesting. You want to use the right tool for the job in the right way. And then you can see the output here is listed on the bottom. And here's your, your key value pairs. So comparable to the SQL output that's um, listed over here where we have the, the um, sorry, let me rerun. And this is from my better example. So let me just rerun this. Um, so kind of the moral of the story is you want to use the right, um, right tool for the job and you want to understand your tools. So for more on all things data, um, go to www.lynnlangit.com. Thank you.